Hi, Marty here for Chuck Builder Pro. Today I'm going to show you how to set up payees. So we'll start by opening a check. There's two ways that you can set up a payee for reuse. <clears throat> Easiest way is uh, just to enter in the information that you want. You can enter an amount or leave the amount out. Set a category. In a memo. You can set an address. When you've got everything on the screen that you want to save, just click the Memorize button right here. Okay. Now this hasn't been entered into a check yet. To do that you have to, of course, click the Add to Print List. But just to show you how this works, we'll, we'll clear the screen. Now there's actually three ways to get uh, to recall a payee for use. You can select the name from the pop-up menu here fills in everything like you want to or you can just start to type the, the payee's name and and then when you see it in the list this is important you need to hit the return key or the enter key or all you'll get is the name so hit return and we're filled out third way is to uh, right click in the actual field and select it again from the pop-up menu now, if you want to make a change to a saved uh, payee, you can just uh, bring up their name and what you have, and then you can make any corrections or changes that you want to, like I just did here. Um, we'll change the amount just to show you. And the memo. Now I just click the Memorize button again. Now this will save it to this name right here. If you change the name it'll actually save it uh, under a different account. So again we'll start to type what we want. Right? You see the amount here 75 and the memo is changed. The other way to do this is to go up to the edit menu and select payee and categories. Then click the second tab edit payees and that this list at the top, you'll see all of your um, all of your saved payees. So we'll scroll down here to the one we just set. We'll double click that, and that'll drop the information down into these editable fields. And then you can uh, make any changes there. Uh, save it. Uh, same is true. It's always saved under the name. So if you have to make a correction to the name, just go ahead and do that. Save it. And then you need to go back and then delete the, um, the record with the errant spelling. And um, the other thing that you can do is if you have a QIF file, which has been exported from a program like Quicken or VersaCheck or any program that, that exports in a QIF format, and you've used payee uh, data in a transaction, you can Im import that here. So you export the file and then either select it with the file browser here or just drag and drop it onto that button. And then up in this top pane here, you'll see all of the payees that it could find. And you can uh, set the check mark here whether you want to actually save those. There's a test menu where you can see uh, all of them at a glance. And then when you've uh, got selected with the check marks, uh, the ones you want, you can click save and it'll import all those payees and uh, makes it a lot faster for writing checks. And that's it for this time.